Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Baz here. And as you can see, we are back in Red Dusk. It's apparently fully released now. So, the question is, who to play? Last time we did play as Adam, but it wasn't finished, the game. But I'm... I don't want to play as Adam today. I, 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 I do kind of want to try and play as, you know, um... Vietnam. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm taking Vietnam. Oh shit, they're giving me history. What the fuck? Ah, okay, but if y'all haven't seen the last one, their whole idea with this mod is what if the Soviet Union uh, in their, I think it was August coup or something, actually succeeded and the Soviets still were around in the 21st century. So let's figure it out. I feel like this is a small focus tree, but it might just be the start if you, uh... yeah, yeah, I feel like that that's just the start. Ah, all these general names. I, I, I can't pronounce any of them. Um, it's a new Vietnam. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about this. I can interfere and bet on someone winning a war. Yeah, I got a... I, I intervened in Ethiopia because... Uh, why the fuck not, right? Wait. No! I didn't mean to say... Oh, oh fuck. Wait a minute. I thought we were pro-communist. <laughs> and we did just encircle a few Eritrean troops here. Why the fuck is the Saudis here? What the flick? Uh, someone has sent a long letter back in the 70s. You can read it if you want. Bro, they straight up want me to take the last fucking province they have la back. What? <laughs> and we did it. I guess I should find the next war to get involved in, right? And I feel like Angola would be a great option. Whoa, I can make government-focused stuff? Wow, interesting. Maybe I should go construct- I don't know. I just realized, look at all my pol uh, political parties. Even the right-wing nationalists are the Communist Party of Vietnam. <laughs> and I'm always keeping an eye on these civil wars just to make sure that if something's about to end, I can hurry up and support the winning side because it gives me a free free civilian and a free um free military factory and if uh, if you look uh oops what the fuck if you look here it also gives me a lot of good relations by the way we're three hours away from midnight i hate this one fuck the random can we remove it Please. And another pocket has been made right up here. I love it. Um, there's peasant protest, and I just did a leadership perch. I don't fucking know. I, I, I'm clicking stuff. People were like, too much corruption. I'm like, I'll do an investigation and help about it. And I killed some political leaders. Reunification day. Yo Wait, did I, did I accidentally do a democracy route? <laughs> I mean, at least the peasants is barely protesting anymore. I am still a little surprised that China, they don't have a path, right? But fucking Vietnam does. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. We won, baby! We got us some Soviet brothers now. By the way, we are helping Sudan now. <laughs> I need that. I need the house extra factory. It's a little weird because every time, like, if uh, if I got some new factories and shit, especially from like, if, uh, from war, or the, uh, from like the wars or the focus trees for some reason, I have to save and reload, just like the Ashley and Lele one. Kind of weird, but I guess that's a bug or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm th I'm the problem here. We crushed the Sudanese rebels. My boys, we back in Sierra Leone. I also threw a few troops into Congo so we can get this war over too. Maybe I should go up in like bit. Mm, yeah. We're slowly helping uh, Congo here by making a few pockets, just killing their opposition, and then. Slowly going through like that so we can get up here. Actually, maybe I should just run up there. Wait, so even in the Soviet Union, Vladimir Putin takes over? By the way, Poland is not communist, just so you know, just so you know. 
I, 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 just so you know, man, just so you know, man, look at this shit, man, just so you know, man, just so you know. How is Lithuania still coming? Wait, what? Oh, look at that. We actually took the capital. We just hurried over there. I don't think it's enough, though. No, but very close. Very close. And they do have a smaller army since I've killed a few of them. <laughs> and we just cut this whole part of the country off, so kind of encircled. Only one? Ah, sure. Oh, it was enough to kill them. We straight bussin. Boys. <laughs> Wait! Coney 2012? Oops, I'm no longer in the Moscow Accord. What the flick? I am neutral. Sierra Leone is under control again. And why the fuck did they stop the... So now we only need Liberia. I thought for a second I was fighting Americans. But no, that was just Liberia, of course. Because I forgot their flag. Why the fuck did I forget their flag? I don't know. But they do get help from Sierra Leone. We just help Yeleron. We fought on the side of them. Just so that I'm now f the same division is actually that the same leader is fighting the same people we fought alongside. Wow, right? Geopolitics, am I right? Eh, you couldn't see me wink. Oh, and I forgot to say, we also became a reformed communist party. No, not just communist, we reform communist. I'm still a little surprised that the Communist Party of Vietnam is the right-wing nationalist. But okay, is there any way I can go there? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, our general secretary is ousted? What? Ah, he's still up there. Maybe when uh, the party congress is over? Now we got a new part of the focus tree. Very interesting. But, but we can't take it yet, uh, because of the dude is not a gone. And here comes the new general secretary. Boink. Hell yeah, let's look at that shit. Who uh, said that? Now we can finally continue our focus tree. And I have a feeling that we're drafting a completely new constitution. Why not? I just saw something. How does the rebel forces have one million manpower or almost while well, we only have a thousand there can't be that many up here right what the f how how did you get that much manpower uh, what it still looks so weird that the leader of the soviet union is putin oh <laughs> wait i see something right here i um feel like i know something about <laughs> Wait a second. Did Putin just announce the fucking coup? I think he did. Uh, are they going away from communism, maybe? Or maybe they're just going towards reformed communism. Being Vietnam, you know, we have to go guerrilla warfare, right? I mean, you can't do anything else. It's Vietnam. Oh, I really do think Putin is doing a little bit of uh, reforming here. I'm not sure if he's moving it into uh, right-wing nationalism. He could. Or maybe uh, reformed communism. I don't know. We'll have to see. Right? Because, um... Gorbachev has now been par pardoned. Wait a second! That thing still happened? <laughs> wow! Okay. So, are they still invading... Wait, isn't Afghanistan in a civil war right now? Oh yeah, Northern Alliance. Um, yeah, okay. So uh, I guess it's just a normal, uh, normal, normal, normal historical. I don't know. So there's just like a few. How many? Ten thousand Vietnamese people down here in the African jungles to help some Africans fight some other Africans against some. Uh, we are good at jungle warfare, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> You have some experience. There it came. There it came. Ah, look at the Northern Army having a million trillion volunteers sent to them. Meaning, um, they actually finally pushed one, one step. But they do have... <gasps> they, 
they lost the uh, they lost the little national spirit saying eternal war or something that just made it so they both had like plus 70 percent defense and minus 70 percent attack so yeah now it's finally gonna be fun in afghanistan what the fuck oh wait this is unrealistic as fuck denmark's not in the euro zone and i haven't even put sweden in how is Norway in the European Union and Eurozone? Actually, this is insanely... That would have never have happened. What the fuck? Norway in the European Union and Sweden not? This makes no sense, bro. Also, how is Greenland actually, like, independent? Makes no sense, bro. <laughs> Look at Dad. We finally have an election i saved vietnam it's over boys that's it close down ah. <laughs> whoa 99 percent of the people were like i have to fucking vote in the historically first election in vietnam and they went more liberalist <laughs> we have gotten quite a bit more popularity for liberalism Maybe we could become a little more liberal. Wait a second, Hungary just invaded Romania. How are you gonna? I. What? What? I don't think you will. Wait, you might actually be able to. Holy shit, you have a bigger army. Uh, but you don't have the air force. Hmm. This might be. You don't have a navy at all, though. But you also landlocked, so it doesn't really matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind and try to. So I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Looks like Hungary is doing quite well. Or now they're standing a little more still. But ah, oh, they might, they might, they might do. Oh shit, no! Actually, I don't know why I said no. I don't actually. I don't care who wins. I was just surprised Hungary attacked. Le Pen. I don't know. I just really like that picture. <laughs> I just wrote, uh, read this. What the fuck? Ta. The Northern Alliance have gotten pretty far. Look at how much Taliban there is left. But hey, you have to like kill 10 divisions in one go. Oh, they, they probably can. They have like all of the West with them. Wait, how how do they have Iran with them? What the fuck? Ah, Kurt, Saddam you know, fighting, Saddam Hussein. Can they win? I doubt they will. They can fly, I guess. <gasps> they already got to move in. Um, a typical Putin move? They are now at war with Chechnya. Chechnya? Oh, they are actually moving out a bit, but I guess that's just because the Soviet troops had not Yeah, it was just because the Soviet troops hadn't met... Uh, yet. Now they are getting absolutely fucked up. I mean, the Russian army is bigger than their whole population, I'm pretty sure. Let's look. Yeah, the Russian army is bigger than their population. I doubt they're gonna win this shit, bro. It's like... No. <laughs> so, um... Lithuania is also trying some fu Oh, they already got rid of Czechnia. Lithuania is also trying to have a little bit of fun here. They have a slightly bigger army, but, um... I don't really think they have a chance, to be honest. Yeah, look at that. I, 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 Actually, maybe if they hurry up and get some land, like take a few holdouts before their army get up there. Uh, actually, they probably have their army there already. Um, so no, no, they, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. Um, yeah, that's their only chance, I guess. Yep. Yeah, and now that the Russian army is pulled up, uh, they are not having a good time at all. Yeah, not at all. Like a hundred Russians dead. The Lithuanians have just taken a beating. A coup just happened in Cambodia. Um, what the fuck? Not fun, bro. Not fun. Oh, looks like I <laughs> need to go to war. Yeah, the game just crashed, so it's gonna happen again. Look at that. Wow, uh, chaos. Oh, God, we're gonna have to fight the fucking Thai... Uh, government too oh my god so yeah i'm not just fighting um cambodia of course this is gonna be really annoying Saddam killed the kurds wow he, he even court them 
Here we go again. Remember when I said that the West will quickly take the last piece of a, a ta uh, the Taliban? Yeah, I think I... I, I think I made a bad estimation. <laughs> so I sent a lot of troops up here, like 21 uh, divisions to Cambodia and Laos. I sent a few extra to Liberia to help out down here, but it's still just hell down there. So I might send some more just to finish that shit off quick. Um, and uh, Thailand has joined in in the war, of course. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little bit of problem here. Okay, okay, okay. Nah, it's gonna be fine. I'll win, bro. I'm not directly involved yet. I'm still just you know um, not directly involved yet. Probably will be soon. Ah, getting tanks down here definitely helped out. Hmm. We took that shit, bro. Now we apparently won. I thought we had to take the last one, but nope, we won. Yup, so uh, the Soviet has started a, st uh, a few wars down here in the Caucasus. Of course, they want that back. And they want the Baltic back. Oh, they're gonna win. And it seems like um, the right-wing nationalist just keeps getting more and more popular. Wow, mm, Putin, you might be doing something, and I'm not quite sure what. Actually, I might be, but I, 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 I don't want to say it because I might sound stupid. I actually don't think I'm ever gonna get into this war at all. So all of my fighting is gonna be as um, volunteers. But I think I can do that, though. I think I can do that fine. It crashed again. Putin actually just ate the rest of the Baltics. Interesting. So he's, yeah, he's pretty close to getting the rest down here. So um, Soviet Union's gonna be pretty Soviet again. Yeah, and they ate the rest of the Caucasus. The Soviets are Soviet again. Also, I pushed a nice bit into like Cambodia and Thailand, but I realized that they actually cut uh, northern the northern part of Laos off, um, and I don't really like that part. <laughs> At least they both have military access into uh, Vietnam, so they can get their troops out. But it's still annoying. Don't take the north, bro. Please, leave it alone. Great, we made a little pocket. Hopefully we can, uh, since you can see there's a good amount of Thai troops here, so maybe we can kill them all <laughs> and we finished off the last of the thai troops here so we got almost all of laos back while we also moved ahead over here a lot uh cambodia is annoying to fight in so uh we haven't moved them a lot there but thailand army has gotten quite a bit smaller <laughs> look at that <laughs> and all of original laos is liberated um thailand isn't in that good of a position right now. <laughs> uh, we just took the capital. Based. Based. So China and the Soviets are like, hey, bro. We'll give you some equipment to fight the fucking Thai. And, and some Cambodians also. <laughs> or Cambodia. They, they survived Pol Pot and now they have to do this. And the last part of not communist Cambodia. Uh, Military, <laughs> but I don't know. Anti-communist Cambodia will go away. They died. At this point, you can see um, that the anti-communists have not had a good time. They have t about twice the casualty. Actually, I think more. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, right now we are only fighting Thailand, which is in a very bad position. They, they are not having a good time. And there goes Bangkok. Bang that cock, bro. And that means we won. We won completely. A splendid day has arrived, comrades. We have victory. Oh, look at these borders now. We now have a... No. We now have a communist Thailand and... Thai National Salvation Front. Okay. And... Oh, here's the normal Thailand. They're not having that a good of a time. And uh, Patani Daru Salam. I am not sure what that is, but uh, wait. You were the ones that kept the king. Okay. T 
Tice love Tice party? <laughs> what a name. Bruh. Why would they do this? What have I done to them? Ah! <laughs> I don't want party in fighting too. What the fuck? I just established an army in communist Thailand. Hey, that was pretty easy. I just had to go in here and click people's army of Thailand. Hey. <laughs> oh, I just saw that uh, Ethiopia, they expanded. They took Djibouti <laughs> and Somaliland. Whoa, the world is pretty peaceful. The only thing that's happening is a lot of Afghan people getting killed by Westerners. And Westerners getting... I guess a few Westerners are getting killed by the Afghan too. Oh shit. The Taliban has actually gone a little further. They moved from here to over here to... Holy shit. This is the fall of the West. The West has fallen. So, Pakistan and India is now at war. Who would have thought that shit, bro? Whoa. America's sole friend in South Asia? Are you for real? Isn't America friends with India? Oh. Maybe not. May so, wait. Is pa Pakistan gonna get help from... Oh, Pakistan might get help from India uh, from America against India. Huh? Also, uh... Taliban... <laughs> Taliban keeps just... Going ahead, man! This is the fall of the West. Ah! <laughs> a Yugoslav war. You always know <laughs> that that that's gonna end well, right? Wow! Who would have thought? <laughs> Just <laughs> while they were f fighting to Pakistan, that's not good for you, huh, Mister Atal Bihari? What? I'm sorry, I, I I don't think I can actually pronounce that. Uh, but oh, oh, uh, are we gonna see a Korean war? And I hope so. You know what? Might as well send some troops to Yugoslavia. I could send some to India, but I feel like I don't want to do that. That seems a little too... <laughs> a little too much, bro. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> and there it goes. I should send troops to North Korea. Because uh, I've, I've, been, I've been trading a bit with them. Made the waves of the lakes, the heavens were rising like a rampant white tide. Okay. Kind of interesting how we sent 130,000 Vietnamese to fight in Europe, in Yugoslavia, but also 130,000 Vietnamese to, f <laughs> to fight in Korea. The Vietnamese are all, all over, man. Just like everyone was in Vietnam in our civil war, we are in everyone's civil wars <laughs> and other wars. We are just in every war. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. We might actually have to fight uh, Japan and Taiwan too. And on top of that, you can see that um, uh, that that the West is sending volunteers. Wait, how does Japan has have volunteers in Korea when they are also at war? I don't know. But China and the Soviet Union has now also sent volunteers. So um. This is gonna be a huge fucking war. <laughs> oh god. And no one cares as much about Yugoslavia. It's just it's just the Vietnamese. We finished off the Croatians, and it's just time to take the Slovenians. Okay, so um Chinese troops enter Korea, of course. Uh the Great Asian War. Yes, okay, fair enough. But you know what I just saw? China just declared war in Taiwan. So <laughs> The Great Asian War. Oh God. Oh, uh, might this be World War Three? Wait, they call it the Chinese Civil War. <laughs> okay. As I helped Yugoslavia reunify, um, I think we should send the troops that just been fighting over here up and help in China, because I can actually just also throw them down here on the Korean border, right? The Great Asian War has. A lot of troops on each side, and, um, there's also quite a lot of, uh, volunteers. Mostly in South Korea. <laughs> Bro, are you for real? Are we having a global economic crash? Global cha supply chain disruption crash? Oh, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Bro, but still. This might actually fuck up the communist status quo. 
this financial crisis is fucking me up, man. Wait, I think we just took soul. We just took soul, boys. I kind of love how it's mainly just fought in the Korean Peninsula, but South Korea is not a major power. <laughs> it, they have the biggest army. I can't to get over this financial crisis, Rob. I get a, I can, uh, not sure if it's to get over it, but with it, I, I can literally join China and get into the war. Or I can just keep being like volunteers. I, I'm not quite sure. You know what? The thing is, if I take with China, we'll get some uh, less hits to like the global supply chains disruptions, which is fine, right? But um, they'll go away when the Great War of Asia is over. Over here, we'll get the civil discontent to fuck off. So I guess we are just going neutrality too, because... Yeah. Then at least I won't lose if China loses, because I kind of have a feeling that they might lose. Because America and all the Western NATO countries might join in. Maybe. I just saw that North Korea absolutely loves me. <laughs> Funnily enough, even though I'm fighting uh, on the side of the North Koreans, the South Koreans also kind of like me. Yeah, I feel like I did the, took the right choice by uh, not joining the Shanghai Pact, because this does not look good for them. Still have like a quarter of a million troops over here, but still. Oh yeah, we also lost Seoul and um... Yeah. I'm just helping them on the defense now, bro, because this is, this is dumb. I'm trying to make a little naval invasion, but... I'm not sure we can get that done in time before um, they've moved up to Hamong. Um, Brigity fuck? That's a lot of troops get- Oh shit, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I realized I could send volunteers to Hong Kong and Macau too, so... <laughs> I have a- I have my- Basically my whole army over here now. <laughs> yeah, they're right up next to Pyongyang now. That only took way too long. Holy shit, but, um, Taliban's gone, I guess. Wait, how? How's there still volunteers there? <laughs> Pyongyang's gone. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, by the way, India beat up Pakistan, and now they're beating up the communist Indians, sadly. I should have said, I should have sent troops to the communist Indians. It's done for India <laughs> did not become communist. What the fuck? Did you see that? I'm working with the other Southeast Asians to make money. Like a real communist. <laughs> Whoa, this is the last war yet? Uh, that was pretty early. What the fuck? Fuck. What fuck? Ah! This is just fucking annoying. Now they're actually at war? What the fuck, bro? Well, guess I'll have to send volunteers there too. <sighs> so once again, we find Vietnamese troops. In Thailand. Eh, it seemed pretty easy. I just caught a lot over here in a little pocket and now I'm throwing it over there and the bitch is about to die. And my general hasn't even <laughs> hasn't even reached the front yet. Only tomorrow. <laughs> easy and now our communist state in Thailand is just even bigger, greater and beautiful than ever before. Look at that handsome man. You know who that is. I know who that is. That's a man. <laughs> Wait. They went to a right wing nationalist? This war could be on track to be more deadly than the Second World War. And this is just in Korea. Um. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, right now we have just been keeping them on the defensive. Uh, on, uh, keeping on the defensive. So kind of grinding their manpower down but i was just looking at him it could really still take some time especially if we go look at the japanese manpower <laughs> i started a little push we caught a lot of these fuckers right in here hopefully we can end them that would be nice that would be nice and we ended them great let's look at what that did Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this little push did give us some more land. By the way, Syria and I Iraq uh, is at war. So, Hussein, Saddam, Hussein, Saddam, Hussein. I don't know. 
Are you um are you gonna win this one against Bashar al Assad? Mm. It might actually be. Yeah, I, I I think you I think you I think you got this one, bro. Oh shit, he's fighting Iran? Did Yugoslavia just declare war in Bulgaria? I think they did. And you knew I had to send volunteers because that's what the Vietnamese does now, apparently. And yeah, it's a pretty easy invasion, especially now that they have a bunch of Vietnamese. Why does <laughs> everywhere there's communists fighting? The Vietnamese show up. <laughs> and that was pretty quick and easy. Uh, we be manufacturing lean, boys. I think Yugoslavia is having some fun. I bet we, uh, we, uh, we better help, is what I'm trying to say. So I apparently have to choose between new general secretary, right? And um, who should I choose? Newton Fucking Truton? Uh, which I don't actually know who is. Uh, or if I pronounced it right. Or the one who doesn't have content yet. Hmm, this is a tough choice, right? <laughs> and there goes Albania. I think it's... I think I'm done. I don't want to help Yugoslavia. Uh, maybe. It depends who they're fighting. Doesn't seem like Saddam Hussein is doing very, very good against Ali Kamin. I can't pronounce. Wait, I think I might just have finished the Vietnamese thing. Okay. Oh, I guess there's no more focus tree. Should I just wait for this fucking Great Asia War to finish then? Let's let's try to finish the Great Asia. I don't know. Oh shit, look at that pocket. Kind of a... Uh... Started moving ahead pretty nicely. We got soul, right? Yeah, we got soul right there. Look at that. We got another pocket here. We still have a fuck ton of troop uh, of uh, enemies. Just caught in a little pocket up here. Ending these down here too, and keep on moving. Let's actually see what the um, casualties are. We are still not in. <laughs> we are still doing. And that pocket just got ended. Did that do a uh, big... Nah, it didn't do that big of a difference besides ending half their fucking army. <laughs> they have nothing left. So most of the enemy's armies right now has just been dying in Korea. <laughs> God, that was a huge pocket. Uh, while uh, most our armies... Actually, I'm just volunteering. But yeah. Uh, has also been dying in Korea, but... <laughs> we are like a million down But we just had that much of a bigger army to start off with so I'm looking forward to like um, Naval invasion of Japan. Oh shit all the volunteers that was in South Korea is dead There's still the Japanese ones and the Taiwanese ones. So I see um, wait America is not in Taiwan, okay, so I see that um it might be, still be a little annoying when we get to mainland Japan, but meh. China, North Korea, allied victory. Wait, is the war completely... The war's completely over. We didn't even have... What the fuck? Did they, they actually reach Busan this time? They freaking fucking did. Why is... Why did they just make it like communist South Korea and not just put it on North Korean rule? Oh, they are a puppet of North Korea. Okay. So my troops are going home now. Great. Will that mean that uh, our... Our... No, that's not a... Fuck, I thought it would be. I kind of want to help Iraq, just just for the meme. Let, let's, let's help Iraq, just for the meme. But yeah, we sent troops to both Syria and Iraq, so hopefully we can help them win this thing. Because they look like they weren't doing that well. What the fuck? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I see. Now it has put like a date on when it's gonna end, which is nice. That's the 31st of July. So, um, I'm glad that that's gonna be out soon. Interesting. It's a bit earlier than they didn't realize, but still. I have a feeling that um, getting a quarter million Vietnamese people to help you might have been a pretty good, pretty, pretty good, a good thing for the Iraq. <laughs> you might ask me, why am I helping Iraq? Yeah, I played as Iraq uh, last time I played this mod, so I kind of have a little ooh <laughs> for it. And there it goes, easy. 
We have achieved world peace. No, I'm not just talking about the adult swim show. Um, China is fighting Taiwan again. That was a very long world peace, I gotta say. And you know what's gonna happen? I sent some volunteers in here to help. Boink. <laughs> of course. You're always gonna see the Vietnamese pop up when it's fun. And this is a pretty easy and fast victory. Oh, look at that. Taiwan's no more. And now, Taiwan is actually a self-democratic... Taiwan Democratic Self-Government League. Yes, that's exactly what they are. They've been outlawed and been outlawing shit too. <laughs> so yeah, um, they're now a special administrative region of China. Just like, oh, uh, no, they aren't anymore. They, they've been annexed. I forgot about that. Okay, and we've got the Chinese unification. Whoa, okay, Saddam. You are trying hard, huh? Wait, what the fuck? Bruh! I mean, why... Why does the oil shortage matter when I have enough oil for myself? I could even sell it. Uh, at least the global supply shortage just ended. Okay, so we are in 2008 now, and I think that's gonna be it. I did already finish the Vietnamese tree, so might as well just, you know, finish it all here. So I want to say thanks for watching. It's actually been a pretty interesting mod, and I liked, uh... And done better since last time of course it's got a lot more to work right uh but i'm actually looking forward to when they add a little more and i hope they're gonna add some denmark stuff because i want to play as them but yep and i always say that but yes thanks for watching remember to like subscribe watch my other videos on the channel remember when i hit 2000 subscribers i think it was i will make a mega campaign and uh, if you haven't already, you can become a member on the channel and a tier 2 member gets uh, early access to new videos. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.